Okay, back into it. Uh, we can make a staircase, huh? It's kind of interesting. Hey, Polywash, welcome in. How's it going, Polywash? Didn't make a lot of money, but uh, that's all right. We're not gonna make too much till all the potatoes come in. Uh, and I think for the rest of spring, I'm mainly gonna work on getting to iron. Only fans where the stream is headed for sure. <laughs> That would be kind of, yeah, that would be weird, but it'd be kind of, it would be weird to have something like that where you play things that are banned on Twitch <laughs> through, like, OnlyFans. Let people do that. Rain, 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 rain. No, it's going to be clear and sunny because the flower dances tomorrow, of course. How are the spirits today? Neutral? Psh, psh. Stupid spirits. Dear Adam, I saw an article about you in the local paper. Sounds like the country life is a good fit for you. I'm so proud of you. Take care, sweetie. Love, Mom. Dear Adam, tomorrow we're all getting together for the flower dance. If you can find a partner, you might even want to participate in the dance yourself. There's a little clearing beyond the forest west of town where you hold the dance. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you're interested. Uh, you know what? Let's take the daffodils with us today. And the tulip. Oh, money, money, money. Money, money, money. Should probably not waste that uh fertilizer there, huh? Even though I wasn't really planning on planting much more. Should at least throw some parsnips down there. Those will be done. Pretty quick. Not a lot of profit in them, but we'll just go ahead and water this and we'll throw down the parsnips when we get home. Whoops. I should have the Sims, Star Wars Simulator. Are you wrong? Uh, like, like I usually tell people, it's the best Harvest Moon game ever made, even though it's not a Harvest Moon game. But uh, if you know Harvest Moon, it's basically that, just with a lot more content. And uh, like I've been saying to a lot of people too, the, one of the really good things about the game is that you can play it however you want. There's no like hard time limit on things really. And if you don't like planting crops, you can be a millionaire in the game and never, never plant crops. And definitely can do so without planting uh, like a ton of crops, even if you just want to plant a couple of each kind or something. Way smaller plot than this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun, chill game. And the storylines with the characters are good. Each character in the town, as you uh, get to know them and talk to them more and see their special cutscenes and things. Uh, you learn more and more about them and yeah, it's, it's a it's a nice nice game. Let's go on goggle, we'll come back. Just harvest moon two, pretty much. But in a good way. I really liked Harvest Moon. Yeah, we'll just go uh, get some parts just to throw down those empty spaces today. Something like that. 23rd, huh? Tuesday. Tuesday. Hopefully we'll find Haley today. Stereotypes, pretty well written. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's nothing like... The storylines are nothing groundbreaking, but they're nice. Also, you can turn uh, footstep sounds off. Everyone's <laughs> wondering. Why, hello, Pierre. Potatoes only take six days. Um, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Mom, 
More potatoes. I've already given you things twice, Abigail, this week. No. Here, Abigail, here's a flower. You brought me a present? Thanks. Well, tomorrow is the flower dance. Dancing is all right, but they make me wear this stupid white dress. Can I get by you? Sound of walking on stone. That really bugged them. Uh, it's one of those things that a lot of people like and a lot of people dislike. So, Casabelle, if you know her, uh, regular here, has been subscribing for like three years. Uh, she's talked about in chat before how she hates that. Like, it's this grating sound that she just despises. But... I've seen wild horse rats in the forest. Forging can be a fun way to earn some cash. Or you can use what you find as gifts. Horse radish, huh? Here. Caroline, you're sending me mixed signals. What the crap? Caroline's like, you can find horseradish in the forest. It's really awesome. And then when you find some, you can use it or you can give it as gifts to people. Isn't that cool? I'm like, yeah, here's some. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. I don't want horseradish. Whatever. Oh, they're blocking me in. Exercise is important for staying healthy. Always make sure to set aside some time for it. As a parent, I don't have much time to devote to myself, so I try and make every minute count. Thank you. I'm feeling a positive energy from this gift. If Shane's room wasn't so ugly, you'd marry him every time. <laughs> I work part-time at Gus's saloon. It pays the bills. Thank you. This might come in handy. Oh, I didn't realize you were you were uh, Robin, actually. Hey, if you need any materials or blueprints, my shop is the place you're looking for. Plus, your business supports the local economy. Yeah, get out of here. Whatever, Caroline. They're trapping me in here. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place the last few months. He's got a quality sprinkler as a gift from a cutie center bundle. That's nice, man. They're really nice. He helps me out with chicken, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, you can't date Robin. Uh, we're going to check for Haley up at the fountain. If she's not there, we'll go to the lake. Hey, look, it's her. Gasp for me? Thank you. I wonder if any nice shells washed up on the beach this morning. This is the best time of year for shells, though. All right, let's go uh, plant our new potatoes. So we have Shane because he wants to quit drinking. Beer will always in a love gift, so he will finish sniffling and saying, do better tomorrow. Smile and you drop beer in his hands. God. <laughs> time off? Straight first two months. Oh, the pub part-time can live with money easily. Yeah. Poor Shane. You put it that way. That sounds terrible. Uh, all right. So. We could go mine a little bit. We have enough stuff to eat for some energy. Um. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop some wood today. Chop us some more wood. I think... Uh, yeah, clearing this part out is fine. Probably gonna put up a bar in here at some point, so. Made some pretty silly money at bars. Eat those salmon berries. Gain to increase the base endurance energy of the main character. Uh, yes, yes, there is. Um, it's kind of similar to the old harvest moons where, um, yeah, uh, like a power bear. Well, it's not called a power bear in this, right? But yeah, basically, you uh, there's something that you consume that permanently increases it.
Power Stream, they were called Power Berries, and there was like 20 of them or something. Shopping, shopping, all day long. Let's go, Wizard, welcome back. Starting to feel exhausted. Where's the kitty? Oh no, I didn't water you. Sorry, kitty. Here you go. Sorry, kitty. Here. Can I, can I pet you? Cool. Slap chop farms. Uh oh, I've eaten all my berries. The gummies did help. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, what kind did you say they were again? I have something else coming in I'm gonna try first, but if that doesn't work, I'll uh, try out these gummies. All the sounds in Stardew Valley are like really satisfying. I don't know why. Called Midnight's Sleep Aids. Hmm. I haven't seen them before, but I've never really looked, so I'll have to check it out. Come on, kitty, I'm trying to get by here. Uh, what do we need to make field snacks again? Field snack. Pine cone, maple, and acorn. Pine cone, acorn, maple. Oh, I forgot that you had the collection, the log thing. It's kind of cool. Two field snacks. All right. Uh, base fertilizer is sap. <laughs> Definitely gonna sell the parsnips. Uh, these are gonna save for energy and daffodils for presents. Buy my mayonnaise? No. <laughs> the, the quest continues, Christopher. Melatonin. Uh, melatonin doesn't help me stay to sleep. I have no trouble falling asleep. Melatonin helps you fall asleep, but even taking melatonin, I wake up like an hour and a half later and still can't go back. So, but I've I've been having some stress-related insom insomnia now for about a month, so I've only been sleeping like an hour and a half at a time, unfortunately. Uh, what do I want to do for the rest of the day? It's pretty early. Uh, I guess I'll just hit up the bar and talk to some people. Maybe distribute some flowers. Tomorrow is festival day. We gotta get up and water everything. Uh, and then go west of... The beach is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. Got to spend some time in the sun or else you'll get all pale. Wish there were more girls in this town. You know what I mean? Here, have a flower. Thanks. You don't like flowers, Shane? What do you want from me? Money? I give you a pot of gold. Leave me alone. Sensei usually went to bed in two hours. Crash the next day. Yeah. Mine, unfortunately, is. I'm not saying yours wasn't. Mine's been stress related, so nothing like that has worked so far. More girls, if you know what I mean. Bad size, good flowers. Not what it meant, so let's go on eight. Welcome back, by the way. Finally, you take out your town three months ago. Hey Gus, give me another round. <laughs> Hi, please relax and enjoy yourself. 
No one here I want to talk to tonight. We're leaving this place. Cookie, hey Cookie, welcome back. Thank you for the three months. Thank you for using Twitch Prime here. Uh, account name is a tier one, so financially supports the stream, and you get all the benefits, I get all the monies. Good deal. Thank you, Cookie. I appreciate it. Been committed to let you know. Shame prefers parsnips. Yeah, that's scary stuff, uh, wizard. I almost died in a fire when I was a teenager. I've talked about it on stream maybe a time or two. Uh, we lost everything we owned. Uh, almost died though. It was very. It was like friggin' movie like. Um, because as my mom and I jumped off of the the concrete porch running out of the house, um, the roof fell down behind us in the room that we were just in. God, friggin' house fire was so hot too. You could feel the heat. Uh, our driveway was probably about a half mile long. You can feel the heat up the hill, up the driveway, as the fire truck stuff were going. It was a really old house, too. Uh, there was nothing they could do. We lost everything. Literally, all I had after the house fire was uh, the, like, pajama-type pants I was wearing. That's all I was wearing. <laughs> Just that, nothing else. Electrical fire. Yeah, so the house that we lived in at the time, this was in... Uh, maybe like around the year 2000-ish. It was like 110 years old or so. Uh, maybe more, 120. And it had been remodeled so many times. And, uh, yeah, there was uh, some bad wiring or something. And, uh, that's what the fire department ended up saying it was, is an electrical fire. And, uh, yeah, barely survived. Scary, too. Uh, my mom saved my life, though, because... The fire alarm actually woke me up. It was a school night. Fire alarm woke me up, but not completely. Like, it kind of half woke me up, and I thought it was my alarm for uh, going off for school, so I just was trying to go back to sleep. The smoke really hadn't started getting into my room yet. And then my mom came in there and shook me awake and told me the house was on fire, and I could hear the crackling and stuff, and got up and uh, went to open the, uh, the door. So my bedroom is really weird. The house is really weird. But my bedroom had two doors, one to the living room and one to my mom's bedroom. I don't know why, but they were connected through a door and then they had their own door out into the hallway. Very weird. But anyway, um, she came in from her bedroom and then the fire was somewhere over in the corner of the living room or that's where it had started. And uh, I went and grabbed the doorknob, not thinking, to get out of my room. And it was friggin' like super hot, burned my hand. I pulled back, my mom grabbed it and and pulled it open, and as soon as she did, just black smoke and just filled my lungs, too. Couldn't breathe. I was coughing up black gunk for, like, a week or two. But anyway, I went into more detail about it on stream before, but it was uh, not, not good. I'm very lucky that we lived. Not too viable, electrical, is it great? It's a close call. So, yeah, very similar type of situation, yeah. Scary stuff. Happy New Year. Hey, Freya. Welcome in. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do I need anything else for tomorrow? I'm not going to sell anything, really. No, I think we're good. We're just going to go to sleep. Tomorrow's festival day. Stupid house fire. Do I find myself more keenly aware of those dangers? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of, yeah. I can make sure the fire alarms are uh, are good. And we have enough of them and there's batteries and all that you know um doors old farmhouses always have weird layouts yeah that's what i was thinking too it's very weird so my bedroom had a had a door that went straight to the living room but then on the other side of my bedroom it had a door that went straight to my mom's room very odd California fire a few years ago whole town was ablaze yeah i've seen pictures and videos of people driving through that it looks it's like a scene from a movie, like driving through hell or something. Goggle. Goggle, they really give something. Goggle. Two. Uh, WS Original, who I'm pretty sure their name is Weathers Original. Thank you, Goggle. How about it? Yeah, it was very scary. But lost everything. Sign for my life, which is good, obviously. Sunny tomorrow. Spirits whispering. The spirits are annoyed today. Whatever, spirits. 
It's festival day. Get over it. How long is those cauliflowers done? Jeez. So it's festival day. We got to uh, get our watering done. I mean, we can water it afterwards. That's one thing that was annoying in Harvest Moon, the original Harvest Moons. On festival days, it would tell you, it's like, you will not be able to do anything after the festival. You couldn't even save your game the night of the festival in some of the Harvest Moon games in the originals, because the festival would literally like end the day and not count as writing in your journal or whatever. But uh, Stardew's not that way, luckily. So the flower festival is to the west of our house. Like southwest in that little uh, wooded area, I think. So another kind of interesting thing, I guess you'd say about that fire is uh, I grew up really poor and uh, the fire was somewhat a blessing in disguise. We lost a lot of very sentimental stuff and uh, we lost everything we owned, but um, the good thing that came out of it is that um, my mom did have insurance on the house. And so with the money from the insurance, um, did several things that uh, she bought me my first computer, first ever computer. I got my own computer and it was a gateway. It came to my grandmother's house because we uh, were living with her for a little bit during that. It came to my grandmother's house in that like cow print box and I got Starcraft and I got Diablo. And then very soon after I got Brood War, uh, the expansion of Starcraft and I got Diablo 2 and Lord of Destruction. And that started my whole uh, computer gaming. I mean, I had played games on the computer at my friend's house, but started playing Starcraft and Brood War on 64K dial-up AOL internet. Uh, I would have to make a new Starcraft account, which was free to do. Didn't require email or anything. I'd have to make a new StarCraft account about every week because it looked like I disconnected when I lost because my accounts had so many disconnects on the record because of AOL, AOL <laughs> dial-up that a lot of times people would just not play with me because they would see the record and they'd be like, this guy disconnects when he's losing. Look at all the disconnects on his account. So I'd have to make a new one all the time. Thank you, Ashley. A gateway, yep. Yeah. Chill game set for the mines, Jerm. Let's go, Jerm. This disaster always hard to start again. Family afterwards, well, you got back to your feet. Yeah, see my great grandmother for a little bit. Died right after. Computer and some of the stuff we had in storage, that was it. And. Uh, uh <laughs> Papa Pone, thank you for another 500 bits. Thank you, Pones. Is your half monthly subscription yeah. to your premium staff? <laughs> Thank you, Bones. Appreciate the bits, man. The bits of space. That's right. Compact back then. Never heard that name in a long time. Gateway. Yeah. Fun. Bam. Adam's a sore loser. Yeah, pretty much. I didn't have a sibling, but yeah, my mom. The shop. Seasonal decor. Tell flowers. Buy daffodils? It's not a bad uh, investment, honestly. Because so many people like them. Collect them all. I probably should get it because I don't want to wait till next year. Screw it. I'm taking this scarecrow. I'm going to buy daffodils too. Tell the flowers? Nah. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, I'm stuffed. Hey, have you tried the red jelly yet? Ask Emily to be your dance partner? No. She doesn't like me yet. I wish Pierre would spend his time with the family. What's up, Clint? I wonder if Emily would dance with me. 
I like dancing, but this one is a little stilted. The old timers really love it, though. I'm nervous. I'm more up the courage to ask someone to the dance with me. <sighs> Love is in the air, and I'm still single. Looks like Marnie's searching for some mayonnaise, too. Marnie looks lovely today. Well, there you go. There's no way she didn't overhear that, Marlin. I'm just enjoying the scenery. <laughs> yeah, the scenery. Dauntless, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, Dauntless. How's it going, man? To Samoris for their second month. Thank you, Dauntless. Much love to Dauntless as well. Which farm last? Uh, the only one that has enough hearts with us, I think, is uh, Haley. So we're gonna we're gonna go with her. I'm practicing my dance moves it needs to be perfect. Doing well. Glad you're well. Well, should we start the dance? No. All aboard the hype train. Flowers. I can hardly see them. Flowers. I don't remember what voices I did for all these people because that was a. Uh, a while ago now. I remember she had the granny voice though. I've been working on these floral arrangements for a week. Do you like them? Absolutely. Someday I'm gonna be the flower queen. That's not fair. Why can't I be the flower queen? You can be. Isles of Adelaide. I haven't heard of that. Slightly let down. Three weeks into early access. You're hoping for something like Skyrim. I really hate dancing in front of everyone. It's so embarrassing. Caroline should be Lydia. Ugh. The wizard is Satan, yeah. You know what? Admit it. I really like flowers. Frog season is really starting to pick up. What? Uh, I use a mixer. So, I, I use a mixer that I have adjusted the pitch and reverb and stuff. I use a Go XLR mixer. It's a it's a physical mixer, not a software thing. Do you practice dark magic? But yeah, it's, uh, you can see all my equipment if you want, Freya, at adamverseverything.com slash equipment. Slash equipment. Now this is the life, huh, kid? Sweet wine, a babbling brook, warm air. Did I mention wine? I should have brought my fishing pole. Hi, Adam. Glad to see you here. I wore my best shirt for the dance. Sort of thing doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Haley only has two star or two hearts with us, actually. It's unfortunate. Spaz, leave me the hundred bits. Thank you, Spaz. Let's go on, Spaz. All right, Haley. Let's see what you say, though. I've been a flower queen for the past five years. I'm not ready to step off the throne just yet. She said, you know. <laughs> I think we're one heart short. Are we really going to have to dance with Shane? <laughs> uh... Who says hi? Hello, demon. Time to pop that pepper. One heart short, yeah. Oh, he said no too, so it doesn't matter. So we're not gonna be able to dance with anyone this year. Very sorry, but I've already agreed to dance with someone else. I'll be honest, I don't wanna dance with you. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Flattery, but I'm gonna have to say no. Uh oh. I spent too much time working in the first spring instead of getting on people's good sides. Oh well, they'll love me when I'm rich. <laughs> All right, let's start. Ever, you guys wait. When I'm a millionaire, you'll be clamoring. Dance with me.
You were gonna marry Leia, but the response turned you off? She was just really honest. You'll see. You'll see. You'll all see. Whatever. Dance your stupid dance, ladies and gentlemen. Roll two command. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Pwn Jam. I've been working on them. They love you when they get to know you better. Also, when I'm rich. <laughs> You'll all see. Dances are stupid. Anyway, I didn't really want to dance. I just... I was just asking people as a joke. All aboard the hype train. Whatever, I'm going to bed. Screw these guys. Ironic dancing. Yeah. I'll dance in my kitty. Well, that's even sadder. It's even more sad. I don't need your stupid flower dance and your pretty women. I'll dance with my cat at home and my bachelor pad. Like someone that's got it all figured out. Uh, neutral. Too cool for dancing. Who wanted cauliflower? I don't even remember. Someone wanted cauliflower. I have to check. We can technically uh, plant parsnips in the empty spots, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to super min-max like that. Parsnips only take four days, so we can get them done, but... Ah, uh, well. All these potatoes are coming in soon. Then we'll be in money. That should give us uh, a pretty good head start on summer. So I hate it when uh, the seasons start on Wednesdays. Does that happen very often? Let's see. Wait, how long is the seasons? Are they only 28 days? I might be getting uh, the time frame confused to like Harvest Moon. Seasons always start Monday on this game, thank you. Yeah, they're only 28, so no, we don't have time to uh, grow parsnips anyway, even if we wanted to. Thank you, thank you. I was thinking about Harvest Moon again. Hello, I'm watering potatoes. What? Uh, is it super cold down there? Turn the heat down then. It's getting really hot in here. Hang on. God, I gotta stop watering fake potatoes to take my homemade pumpkin bread my wife's giving me. What are you doing? I meant, like, elsewhere in the world. Hmm. Pumpkin and cream cheese bread. Thanks. Did you need something? We eat more of it? Are those the only two words you can say? I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> Wanna water potatoes for me? Nom nom. Growing in the summer. Uh what are the berries that you can grow during the summer? Inventory's full. I'll probably grow whichever berries are the summer berries. I don't remember which one. I'll grow a little bit of all of the things just to have them. And for the community center, whoops. But uh, in general, I'll probably do berries. 
Um, Joe's request. So Jody wants a cauliflower. Okay. And we need them for the community center. Uh, so we'll take one of these to Jody and the community center. Let's do it. Potatoes aren't going to wait. I know. The spread's good, though. Your only objective in first year would be greenhouse. I don't even know what my objective is. I'm just playing. That's a good one, though. Greenhouse is nice. Obviously, it's not winter, but we need to go to the desert sometime. Oh, I still need hardwood. We can get that from the mine. The mines, the mines. What are we doing up here? Bundle complete. Having to wander around in. Yeah, yeah, I agree. 20 speed grow. Funny requests would be in real life. Have some big farm that masters blueberries or something. Yo, mate, could you grow me one yam this month, please? And give me some bread for it. <laughs> That's awesome, Lobby. Congrats. We have not gotten any yet. Ours came really late last time, too. So who knows when we'll get it. But we didn't have it earlier, I should say. Maybe I will by the end of the stream or something. Ah, uh, now I can see which, uh, which section this is. Oh, my nose itchy. That's a slow little apple spirit. 2400. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Because of those family members. That's right. Forgot about that. Boiler room. Copper bar, iron bar, gold bar. Slime, bat wings, slur essence, void essence. Quartz Earth. Okay, cool. Because of the fam, yeah. Yeah. Alright, um. So we'll sell the other stuff. We can even just stop by and sell it to Pierre, might as well. We don't have to wait. Uh, but I need to see Jody. She's left and up, I think, right? That's her right there. Isn't it? No, that's the community. Yeah, she's up there. My bad. I thought I was further uh, east than I really was. We also have a geode in our box. We need to bring to Clint sometime. Get that thing broken open. Always welcome to visit. Uh, okay. Let's give you this one. Thanks. Guys, that's Robin. <laughs> uh, I can't be expected to remember everyone's name. Jai, last year to get serious. It really sucks this year, though. Gotcha. What's going on? Panzer? Hello! I do need to... It's not a complete waste though, because I didn't want to see how much uh, we need, how much wood we need for the house upgrade. 450. 450. How's the farming business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? I can imagine it being pretty peaceful working outdoors, the plants all day. So where is Judy at this time of day? Mm -hmm. It doesn't tell you where they're going to be. I mean, she could be at home. Uh, don't they meet up here sometime? Uh, 
That was good, Mimi. Uh, let's go ahead and sell stuff at Pierre's. Hello, Adam. Are you well? Uh, yes. Hmm, what am I going to make for dinner tonight? How about a daffodil? Oh, are you here too this week? Hmm, I'm not a huge fan of this. You don't like flowers? Whatever. Whatever. No, I need it out first. I like turtles. Do you like flowers, Mr. Mayor? It's very nice of you, thanks. No problem. Soon can get pretty lively at night. Sometimes we even put a coin in the jukebox. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna get into politics, but I talked about it a little bit the other night. Got a little payout for the peasants. For us peasants. Is that her? Mm-hmm. Looks so delicious, thank you. Just what I wanted. It's gonna be perfect for my yellow curry. Nice. Maybe I'll just get takeout from the saloon. I've never met a farmer before. I've been talking to you, whoop, oh, crap. <laughs> but talk to you all season. I know what she means. Before me. I'll be baking cookies today. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. Granny, why are you talking to me via walkie-talkie? Maybe I'll tell you my recipe in one of these days. Showing off my rod to the local population. I haven't been down here on the beach in a while. Let's go fish a little bit. So I need to repair that. Clams, clams. <laughs> need to buy a new rod too. How much is that? Sup, Willie? Uh, there's a... All those drugs. Fiberglass rod is 1800. All right, we'll do it. Thanks, Willie. Thanks, Willie. My inventory is pretty full, Willie. Pretty full. Should have sold the rest. It's all right, I'll fish uh, near the house. Shoot my recipe. Does that mean? I think it means. Uh, Blood, so much blood. Ah. Good, worth it. Oh yeah, I know. I usually repair the bridge long before now even. Uh, it takes like 300 wood, right? We gotta be getting pretty close. I'll double check. We'll double check. We put like 200 wood in the, in the center. Yeah, we actually have enough to repair it. Have to go back down there sometime. Uh, yeah, you know what? We can do that today. It's fine. Okay, we got 10 bait on a rod now. All right, cool. Let's go repair that. I 
needs here. Guns. Lurk the rest. Man, I hope that heals up soon for you. I know you said you've kind of done the same thing before. So, I don't know if you have like an idea around when it starts to get better, but yeah, man. No worries. Thank you for the lurk. Thanks. This looks nice. Very lucky to have a library in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Sorry, I got carried away there. It's no problem. If I was Pam's offspring, I would try to zone out as much as I could as well. Those coconuts migrate here. Did the glitch work this time, Jingo? It wasn't working the other night. We weren't sure why. Words this time? Good, good. Hmm. Mother catch? An 11 inch herring? Can we cut a tree down with that? Looking like a scary alien. Coral. Yeah, there's coral just laying on the beach. Well, there were shadow, shallow pools there, I guess, but yeah. Whoa, fish. This was not just a little herring or anchovy, probably. Maybe. I lied. Well, it's sardine. A <laughs> seven inch sardine. that treasure got the treasure I'm gonna go fishing in real life flip Charlie how's it going Charlie bait magma geode nice 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 will it remove a quirk uh only if you use the right item on it, but yeah, we don't have any medicinal herbs, unfortunately. I'm gonna be doing a uh, Darkest Dungeon playthrough here in probably a month or so. We'll probably do one every few months until Darkest Dungeon 2 comes out. Um, it's gonna be kind of a challenge run, but not as crazy as some of the ones we've done before. Uh, let's go ahead and go set this up to sell before I catch more than I can hold. Maybe I should go ahead and buy the deck or the bigger bag once I get 10k again. Uh, Aria? I don't know if I'm getting your name right, but thank you for the follow. Welcome in either way. A challenge run this time. Uh, so I want to try to beat Blood Moon with one run with only male characters, one run with only female characters. Just for fun. I think the only male character one will be easier than the all-female all character one, but we'll see. Be it'll be pretty interesting, I think. Happy New Year! Wish better and brighter days. Lots of smiles above all. More beautiful, delicious, tasty coffee. Ah, oh, for you maybe. Oh, I think Greek. Happy New Year! I appreciate it. Coffee. That's a good herring. Uh, hang on. We need to save the sardine. Save the sardine. Everything else, we're fine. <laughs> nice. Your vids on YouTube? That's awesome, yeah. Um, so which video did you come in on? Out of curiosity. Was it Darkest Dungeon? But, thank you for being here. Do appreciate it. 
Yeah, we're having a chill uh, week this week before we go back to doing some challenge stuff next week. For anyone wondering, what's up? Okay, sleepy time for us. Let me just whip out my rod. Yeah, you guys ever do that? Just an accident? Just sometimes you rip, not rip, hopefully. Whip out your rod. Happens to be a lot. All right, more day and we'll, uh, we'll end this recording. But we're going to keep playing. Have we gotten an Iridium fish? I've gotten a couple of this playthrough already. Thank you, Greek. The lightless, deathless. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you for coming in. Next week, you're back to full-time RimWorld. <clears throat> I don't know. It depends on what people want. What I'm thinking, Sam, is I might do split streams again where I do, like, RimWorld for five hours and then maybe uh, something else for, like, two or something. Level six farming. Hey, we can make quality sprinklers now when we uh, get iron. So The silo early is also pretty useful. Playing Graveyard Keeper. I've played a little bit of Graveyard Keeper. I really like it. I just haven't gotten back to it. Probably have like eight hours and oh, it's going to be sunny again. Probably have like eight hours in Graveyard Keeper. Spirits are very displeased. Pull for sprinklers. Well, I mean, no, I, need, I basically need all the stuff to build the sprinkler, huh? We need quartz, gold, and iron. We, get, we need to go back to the mines. Oh, it's money making day. Um, maybe we'll go to the mines today. Only two days left in the season, huh? We could even stop by and sell these potatoes to get airing at the bigger bag. That won't have uh, pretty much money to start our growing beginning of summer. Yeah, I think it's an okay mine day. We'll do that. Go to the mine till like 10 or 11. Try to uh, get to another elevator, maybe. I think these potatoes are going to be done, like, last day. I'm hoping. I kind of forgot that the seasons were, like, 28 days in this game. Is that 30? But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Ah, y'all winning, son? Yes, Dad. Go, Mishima. Welcome back. All right, uh, we'll throw this in there. This, this. We're gonna need our sword, uh, pickaxe. Take our cherry bomb. Use this stuff for energy. I doubt we'll need that much energy, but. Off we go. Do you need the hoe in the mine? I haven't been taking it. Yeah, we're gonna have bad luck today, but I'm still gonna go. Gotta get down to iron, at, or down to the levels where you can start getting iron at least. I really, but there are patches, yeah. It's like the sandy areas and stuff, but 
Can you get the... We call I call them worms. I know they're sticks, but... You can't get patches down there. I'll have to... Uh, oh, yeah. You can find, like, one of the books down there, too, right? I'll have to start bringing that with me. Uh, small mouth bass. Yeah. Oh, it's Pierre's birthday. Um, crap. Ashima. Thank you for the resub. Uh, two months. Boom. Happy New Year. Thank you, Ashima. Very much appreciate it. Thank you for the resub. Much love to Ashima. Ah, oh, man. I should have brought one of those freaking flowers. I guess this will give me an opportunity to grab the hoe. Yeah, I forgot about the books and stuff from there. Yeah, I know, bad luck means it'll be harder to advance, but um, the only other things to do really are to clear the farm some more or to fish today. So might as well just go work on getting on down there. Uh, have we given him anything? I don't think so. No, we haven't given him any gifts. Sorry, Pierre. Always the shopkeep, never the friend. Hey, we haven't used our uh, new sword. We haven't been back to the mine since we got the sword, I don't think. So this will help a bit. We need monster parts for the uh, center, too. You remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. That's right. I remembered. Definitely wasn't posted outside your store. This has been slow since Joja moved into town. It's hard to compete with their selection. Alright, let's get out of here. Don't keep the seller happy. <laughs> He's not even a real person. He's just a vendor. Barely more than a vending machine. He's like a vending machine with anxiety. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Ugh. There needs to be like a stairway there. <laughs> or I need a boat. Getting here a little, well, I guess you can't really call it late. Uh, here, Linus, you wanna, you wanna leak? This is a great gift, thank you. No problem. It was very thought out. Do I have that opinion about people in real life? Oh God, that doesn't connect either. Yeah, it is sad. Down we go. So we'll try to make it to floor 20, I guess. Need to fish in here sometime, too. We'll definitely still get copper. We need to make a lot more forges. How late can you stay up? Uh, 2 a.m. If you stay up till 2 a.m., it'll put you to bed automatically, and you'll wake up the next day with less energy. If you stay up till 1 a.m., you get an energy penalty. Uh, yeah, you can technically stay up all the way till 2 a.m. before it forces you to get to some sleep. Die, bug come into your house and kill you. This is tw floor 20 friendly, yeah. Floor, floor 20. Is it a video game if there aren't slime enemies? 
I think no. Get out of here. Give me your bug meat. No, it's cocooning. I'm gone. See ya. See ya. He was in his little rock playpen. <laughs> well, that makes him sound innocent. And I killed him, so it can't, he can't have been innocent. Or else I wouldn't have killed him, right? Ooh, we got a dwarf scroll. You found an artifact, curator of the local museum. Might want to know about it. Yeah, Gunther. Gunther. We gotta take this dwarf artifact over to Gunther. Uh, who I've been told is an alien. Scroll one again. Crap, that one went to its cocoon again. Get out of here. Can't escape mosquitoes, even in caves. Where are you coming from? Our sword sucks. Time to break some th random things that aren't even ours. Uh, I guess I should... Eh, yeah, we can throw that down. We'll eat that algae. p.m. How many more of these do we have? Three. Do we have anything with us? A single? Uh, number six. We need some hardwood. Hey, there's some hardwood. Uh, do we have another that's just a single? Field snack. It's gonna overfill us, but... Oh, we don't need the fiber. It's all right. Should use the bomb on the next area. Just use it here, I suppose. We can clear a bit. A little bit of a waste, but it's all right. Still didn't open up the next floor, huh? Well, fortune teller did tell us it's an unlucky day. Hey, we made it down to the next elevator. What time is it? 6 p.m.? We got time. I don't see any iron. I don't know which uh, floor iron starts appearing on. Gotta be getting pretty close, though. evil bug in its own home. Let's kill it. More bugs to murder. Good, we got all those before they start transforming. 740. Yeah, we can make it down another 
instead of five, I think. Also, we get really unlucky with uh, finding the staircases, the ladders, or whatever. Crap. Thirty energy. Jeez. Yeah, we need to buy the bigger sack. We need a big sack. We only have a medium sack. Sack up. Sack up or shut up. Coal. Come on. Find the next floor. 28. We only need two more floors. Surely we can find that before like 11. Surely. <laughs> Bug meat. Ooh, look at all this stuff I can destroy. Hopefully, it doesn't have an owner. Good, we need the hardwood. For the community center. Uh, I think that's all we need actually to finish one. It's like 10 hardwood or something. Something like that. Yeah, 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 come on. Eleven, we made it just in time. Yeah, I was gonna push, even if it had taken us longer. I guess I would. Uh, whoops. Run, run home. I guess we should go visit uh, visit Clint tomorrow. We got like eight or nine geodes saved up. Uh oh, it's after midnight. It's after midnight. Uh, Michael Jackson warned me th about this. Zombies are coming out any moment. Rain 10k in here. Lay that big sack on me. <laughs> PvP stream, unless it's too old for Twitch. Team you live 40 rounds with. Uh, I do have those VODs saved, but they are not uploaded yet. And yeah, they're gone on Twitch. What was our stall team? I don't know. Excuse you? About which part? Michael Jackson or about the giant sack? <laughs> um, I'm just going to bed. Sack. Uh, right now we have a medium sack. But later we're going to go in there to Pierre's and we're going to drop 10 grand and uh, tell him to give us the big sack. Level four forging. Right. Cut the recording there.